Hello everyone, this is Big Benedict. Welcome back to my Dante's Inferno Infernal Difficulty video guide and walkthrough. This is the 21st part. It's a video that's a little bit over 15 minutes and it's called Lady Fort Fortuna or the Wheel of Fortune. So we have an extremely difficult fight right over here and I'm going to leave my uh, my menu swapping over here just to show you what exactly you should have over here. Divine armor goes without saying, though. Uh, Virgil gives nothing right there. So we have two waves of enemies, two distinct waves. All right, I guess you could say three waves. Uh, but the first wave is four of the the temptresses. So what I want to have here is the the cross, Saint Lucia's wrath. Uh, as well as, um, okay, I guess it doesn't matter too much right there, because what I'm going to do initially is uh, use the redemption meter right right away, early in the battle. You can get hit while you're using the redemption meter, but you're going so fast that these enemies don't have much time to hit you since you're moving all over the place. When you kill two temptresses, the glutton will spawn, but uh, don't focus on him. Focus on killing these uh, damn whores here. It's really tough. Um, so once I've exhausted my redemption meter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip two relics that fill it back up faster. So I, excuse me, so I could possibly have some use of it on the boss. And those two relics are Anthony Standard, which I have at level two. So I'm going to replace the so right there, Anthony Standard, and then the wasted gold that we just got, and which is still on level one. Um, I hope I put it in there. Uh, but basically whenever I expire the redemption meter, because how the redemption meter works is that if you activate it, that's it. You can't like not activate it anymore. Like you can't stop it. Um, like you can't just use one of the three cells. You use it and then it's going to get exhausted. But what I'm going to equip here is the um, St. Lucia's Wrath. So this guy can't block my attacks. And I'm going to use my Divine Armor, which is at level 2. Meaning that when I'm using it, I regenerate my health. So um, that's basically it here. Um, and I'm, I'm swapping out for the Stone of Wrath, so I'm using less mana. And if you do you come here and you don't have too many items here, I'm going to put the Wasted Gold on here. Um, you may have to start, because what I did is I actually missed the Relic way back in Chapter 2, the Lust Realm. Um, what am I putting here? Kiron's Ore. See, even I'm switching to Kiron's Ore to get more uh, absolution points right here. Then I'm going to switch back and put the Lord's Blessing on, which is at level 2, but it's good enough. So, you know, you deal... Uh, you, deal you, you kill four Temptresses, then you get a Glutton, then you get um, a Throne Demon, plus four more of these bitches, which is really tough. Um, so like I said, I, I missed the the Triton's Desire, or what's it called, the um, something that Virgil g gave out on level 2 that I forgot, so I restarted. And uh, I've had to restart twice now, and it's a little inconvenient, but this game is so short that I, I just speed run through it, and always keep it on Infernal. It doesn't even matter, because what I like to do is try to outdo myself, outdo what I did before, and I actually did, I, I succeeded a lot more, I got more souls. I did better on the mini games, but I am back, and I, I did want to point that out, just in case and many of you are looking at my menu and you didn't see. I think it's called Tristan's Desire, actually. So stay away from these guys; they're so deadly. And this part is just so damn difficult. But but let me res restate the strategy. Once you come here, you, you, you need to use your redemption meter to its full potential, toss crosses, and then once that's uh, once all the cells of your redemption meter have exhausted themselves, then you equip the Wasted Gold and the Anthony Standard, so that all the kills from this from that point on will regenerate your redemption meter faster. And here I almost got killed. And also, when you've got that Throne Demon, you want to put the um, Saint Lucia's Wrath on, and anything else basically that you want to have upgraded. But this here is a fight where you, you're not really focusing on upgrading items. You're focusing on getting um, putting items in your inventory that's that it, that's going to best serve you during that fight. 
because I think it's the hardest fight in, in the chapter. And indeed, I used a, you know I used all my redemption meter. I used a lot of the divine armor, but that's just because I don't use those items um, elsewhere. They're pretty much like magic in God of War. I just don't use magic unless I, because I save it. I save it for a last resort, and that fight right there was a last resort for me. And now I'm, I'm looking to refill my redemption meter and, and uh, complete this chapter here. So, so it's it's very advantageous to, like I said before, put those relics that will give you bonus souls into your person. Now, uh, what you want to do here is save your progress and manipulate this uh, damned person right here. Um, if you if you don't do too well, just uh, restart the game. That's all you need to do. And there's going to be some evil sins, I guess. Well, it's kind of a redundancy. There, there's just some darker sins that you don't want to put uh, click on because they'll actually detract from your score. So I did really well here. I almost got 40. I think I got 39. But there were times when I got like 25. And it, I don't know how the mind works with these games, but they're really fun. And you need to equip Charons if you're uh, trying to get holy bonus points, put Charons. Or if you're trying to get unholy bonus points, put on Minos's tail. Tail of Minos. So I got 780. So plus 780 is the most you could possibly get. But the thing is, uh, you can get varying degrees of souls. So you saw that I got like over a thousand souls right there. And sometimes you'll get between like eight to a thousand. So it just depends how, you know, how much do you want the souls? I want them quite a lot. So we have a uh, an easy battle here, but for the I, I never realized this battle was timed. So definitely uh, don't stop tossing crosses at this guy. I actually purchased the Holy Barrage upgrade, which throws uh, three crosses, but. Um, do not purchase the Holy Devastation move. Okay, so we've got an Asterian Beast here. And what am I putting on here? I'm taking off... I'm putting the Lord's Blessing so my cross attacks gain in strength. And I'm simply spamming the circle button, and it works. You'll have plenty of time to kill this guy. The only reason I died, um, and that's in fact the only reason I know this is timed, because I did die. But the reason I died was because I was just loitering. I was uh, trying to hit him with the scythe. I was moving around too much and I wasn't focusing on the battle here. But this area here is the the worst part of the game for me in, in, as far as being completely fucking unfair. Um, and it's not anything that's going to throw you off or you know make you restart hundreds of times or anything. It's just that you receive mandatory damage for um, completing a quick time event and uh, we're gonna sh I'll show you right here so this guy can be slain just, just tap the circle button right here uh, it's just an unwinnable quick time event it, it's just um, I, I said you do win it excuse me you lose it you can't win it this guy right here he's going to try to mount he, he, excuse me he's not gonna try he will mount this Asterian Beast and you can tap on this thing until your fucking thumb breaks. Even if you have a turbo controller, you can't win this scenario here. And look at that damage. That's a lot of damage on infernal mode. You have to take that damage. Uh, I don't think you should ever have to take damage in a game uh, based on those kind of circumstances. That's just uh, the ultimate bullshit. I mean, it's a scripted fight. It's a scripted encounter. He should just throw you off and you should not receive damage. Because you can't not receive damage. I, don't, I just don't understand the thinking behind whoever designed that. But that that is the only time in, in this fight that that happens. It happens on the final boss and it's happened before. I, I just can't remember exactly where it was. But for the remainder of this video up until the, to the boss of this level we're going to be on the Asterian Beast. But you can get flung off if you fail a quick time button event. Which is tapping circle and that's not a surprise since we've been doing that the entire game and we're going to have to probably tap the circle about uh, 10,000 more times, honestly. So, 
uh, there's really no risk unless you're just simply not paying attention or not tapping it rapidly enough you're you're gonna win you don't even have to tap it that fast but the thing is these guys are pretty quick and the Asterion Beast is slow to turn around and sometimes you're like the fire breath seldom hits uh, because you can't really control where you're aiming it but again the square button is the pound the, the, the fist pound on the ground the triangle button is a stomp the R2 buttons the grab and when you have them grabbed you can press the square button to eat them or the triangle button to slam them down on the ground so there's not, there's not too many guys right there but yeah that mandatory damage for a scripted fight it, it's never it, it's never gone over good on me in fact uh, I think it's the lowest point in the game like the like the cheapest and just down and right down and out just dirtiest part of the game because it's like I'm gonna receive damage and I know I'm gonna receive damage I can't not but it's scripted it's not like it's a failure on my part I did my I did what the game was asking me I tapped the circle button and trust me there's no way in hell you can win that quick time event because it is scripted okay so we've been down here this is Plutus's chamber we're back down here and there is the threat of these guys uh, trying to mount the beast but it, it's not even a threat it's just an annoyance because to get them off you it, it's the same as opening a door so it's not like you have to press it harder or you know delay pressing it or press you know different buttons all you're doing is tapping the circle button and we've already done that uh, thousands of times in this game and um, okay so these guys have to be killed and then we're gonna have some lackeys coming into the picture. Now, I don't really know why they do this, but you do have to kill all these guys to make things progress. Some hoppers. That's what they are here. Uh, but uh, you might also be asking yourself why did you place so much emphasis on after you use the redemption meter, why did I place so much emphasis on refilling it? It's because it's gonna be coming in really handy uh, it could potentially aid you on the boss fight, and I'm just trying to prepare people uh, who who do want to do that first encounter we did with the three waves of enemies. If if you're gonna do that, make sure that you equip relics right afterwards that will refill it um, as fast as you can. And obviously, if you have those relics at higher numbers, it's going to expedite the process. Um, so drag that box over to this location and. Uh, the only thing that's going to prevent you from succeeding here is if it's if the antlers of that god right there raise, but you're given plenty of time right here, so we're 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 kind of just going back where we've been before. Uh, in theory, I mean, we haven't actually been hanging off the wall yet, but we've been to this area and we're going back to the Wheel of Fortune area, and. I was actually kind of curious about the whole Wheel of Fortune area, and I, I was rereading some of the uh, Paradise, or excuse me, not Paradise Lost, but the Divine Comedy, and a really interesting reading there saying that um, God had somebody to uh, divide the riches and the um, like the the tragedies in life where people lose money, and there had to be some kind of a of an equilibrium, you know, so to speak, between who got rich, who gets poor, who's who's just, you know, struggling to survive in the middle class and, th and things like that, so, and, um, we're just a, a great game and a great poem, everything's great, so, I hope you guys are great too, got a lot of, lot, just a lot of feedback here from the community, just a lot of people, some, some people's comments are just so nice and genuine that they, they almost make me cry, because, they're just it, it, it's so re, it just reinforces all the hard work I put in and people know it and just just the fact that people realize and acknowledge how much hard work I put in it makes me really feel good inside so uh, I want to thank everybody for all the kind words there, there's hardly any bad clowns and trolls on my channel I think that's because I have a good personality and I really don't encourage that kind of thing or you know even I don't know I just don't know a lot of other channels have so many bad people on there 
but you know I get my fair share some some asshole but it's so infrequent that it's almost like I don't ever have any people talking trash in my channel and I think that's actually a reflection of me I'm gonna give myself credit for that because I'm a nice guy I try to be nice to people you know I try not to diss people in the comments and uh, anyway that's that for that the boss is tough, I gotta admit, this boss is pretty tough, and I have not bought any health or mana upgrades, and you may see me actually purchase some during the fight. I think there's four health and mana upgrades, two on each side, two on the holy side, two on the unholy side. So up until now, this has been a no upgrade run as far as the um, me buying no health and mana, but it's not going to remain that way. But um, so far it definitely has been that way. And, you know, don't worry if these guys keep mounting you. It's going to happen. You're just you're just too slow. And I, I really wouldn't focus on trying to fail the quick time event and uh, fighting these guys. It's just that when I get here, I just want to get the job done, take care of business, and fight the boss. So I believe this is the last guy here. I tried to grab him, but I think I just ended up s uh, pounding him to death. There we go. So there's a, there's a little cutscene right there, which I edited out. And now the last thing you need to do is just press the R1 button and tap circle and we'll fight the next uh, excuse me we'll fight the boss in the next video I'll see you there and we will succeed